This is Lance from Langchain. Connecting LMs to different sources of context, like tools, like data sources, is notoriously challenging. Anthropic's model context protocol is an interesting open source implementation to standardize the way this can be done. Now, we've recently added the ability to take any MCP server, which contains data sources, tool definitions, and connect them as tools to any LangGraph agent. And I want to show an example of that right now. This is a super simple example implementation of an MCP server. So you can see this server, we're just going to call math. We're going to register a few different tools, add, multiply, and that's it. So servers are a really nice way to encapsulate some set of tools with similar functionality and surface them to LLMs using the MCP protocol. Now to connect that server with a LangGraph agent, all I need to do is a few imports from MCP. I'm going to specify a model and I'm going to supply some server parameters. And this is just simply pointing to that file, which is in my directory here. I pass those parameters to an MCP client I define here. And all I need to do is start my session, initialize connection. And this step is what we recently added. The ability to take some set of tools defined in an MCP server and convert them into Langchain tools then those tools can be added directly to, for example, Create React Agent, a pre-built React implementation in LangGraph that's quite popular. We can see we take those tools that have been converted and pass them right in as normal, and we can go ahead and run. And we can see the messages out, so everything looks pretty good. So here is our input. Claude makes a tool call. The tool message is automatically handled. So the server is going to basically execute the tool, pass back a tool message. The model receives that, makes a second tool call to perform multiply, and we get our final answer. Now I want to show you something else that's pretty interesting. I can look at the trace here in Langsmith, and let me go to that first model call. You can see the tools in that math server.py are all discovered automatically by our LM. So basically all the tools in the server are available and discoverable. When we run this load MCP tools, they're all loaded for us, which is great. And then we go ahead and bind them to our LM in this create react agent step. And they're all here. And this you can see is the overall trace that follows the execution of the tool calls and then the tool executions and so forth down until we get the answer. Now, one thing I like about this is we actually can use this really nicely to organize different tools that we want to work with. So we added this multi-server MCP client that lets you load tools from various servers really easily. And then you can very simply just pull in all those corresponding tools to your agent. Another important clarification here is that this model supplied currently we're using Claude 3.5 Sonnet but you can also use other models. So there's no restriction on what particular model you use. This protocol connects with any tool calling LLMs. So in this case, we have our math server. We have a weather server. Math server has some math tools. Weather server has, in this case, just some mock tools that returns the weather in a given location. But the point is we can really nicely separate our various tool servers and easily connect to them. So in this case, you can see we connect to two different servers. And there we go. In this particular case, we can see the tool call to get weather works as expected. We return the result. And so just to kind of flesh out what's happening under the hood here a bit, you can think about this uh, as laid out in this diagram. So MCP servers provide context tools and prompts to clients and we saw the ability to create a simple math server. We create a simple get weather server, but there's many other servers available, which I'll show you in a minute. And each server can have many different tools kind of topically organized based on that server's role. So it's a really nice way to kind of organize tools. Now clients maintain connections to servers inside different host apps. And so for example, what are those apps? Well, one of the main reasons that Anthropic open source this was because the Claude desktop app can then get access to all sorts of different MCP servers, giving it access to many different tools and many different data sources. So it's obviously really useful if you're using the Cloud Desktop app, but it's open source. So we actually use the Python client to connect it to LangGraph Agent. That's exactly what we just did. And we use load MCP tools to convert the tools as defined in the MCP server into LangChain tools that can be used directly in a LangGraph agent. So it's just another example of an application 
that can be built on top of this open source protocol. So we'll link to the library in this video description. And I do want to call out something that's pretty interesting. If you poke around the documentation on model context protocol, you can see a large set of servers that are available to you. And this is where the power really comes in. You can see there's a whole bunch of reference servers for different tools and a large number of official third-party integrations as well, which is quite cool. We also see some other community servers. There's actually quite a bit here. So with this open protocol to expose various types of MCP servers and the ability to load any of them as tools, pass them to a LangGraph agent, it provides a very nice way to access lots of different tools from agents trying to build. So it provides a really nice way to bind many different tools via a common protocol to agents that you're trying to build. So it's worth a careful look at this. It's a really neat open source protocol. And I'm sure it's going to be growing quite a bit in the coming days, weeks, and months. And feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Thanks.